going on YouTube? It's Tenacious Fox here with our week 4 ILPC match against the Los Angeles Nero Kings. Uh, we are looking to do a lot better than we did in the last match. Uh, we got we got blasted our, in last week. I didn't even upload the video because I was so... First of all, I was mad while I was making it and then I just couldn't even watch it after I uh, made it. He decides to not bring the... Greninja, which is actually super surprising to me, um, and he brings the Toxic Croak instead. Other than that, I had his team pretty well, um, pretty well picked out, actually. <laughs> um, I think we just go for the high jump kick here. There are things on his team that can definitely take this, but. I don't really want to get, well, would it be better to just take this out completely or he might think he outspeeds here though. He just, he goes, he goes, cool. I did not know that would hurt us if we crashed. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but. That was a pretty safe play on his part. Just going for the protect there. Um, obviously, the high jump kick really hurts. Uh, we are, we are though. We are gonna be uh, regenerator man Chow, so we are gonna get some health back from switching out. Um, he's carefully, carefully, carefully picking out his moves here. He does go for the toxic spikes. I didn't think he would. Um, that's actually super unfortunate because I did not think he would go for toxic spikes at all. I definitely could have just taken him out there with the high jump kick. We do. We are rocking heel bell on Mew, so it's not that big of an issue. Um, but definitely. Definitely an issue though. I'm actually just gonna go into Garchomp and I'm just gonna hit Earthquake because he doesn't have anything on his team that really takes it well. Because he stays in and this Nodal King's dead um, and he doesn't really have a switch in for this. So I think it's just best to just go for this, this Earthquake. Um, his only switch in is that Kafigurgis. Really? That's the only switch in he can bring in here. Um, I'm really, really expecting that. I don't really have anything that can hit it hard because it is going to be a physical. Oh, he. Well, that was dumb. I don't know why he just sacked that off. That was a pretty good name by him, though. Uh, that's a great name. Amaterasu. Naruto term. I, I love that name on that I didn't name my Pokemon this week I usually do I'm not sure why I didn't um, and now we're just gonna go into our Magirna it does a little bit there we're just gonna shift gear here and now we're gonna we're gonna try to set up because nothing on his team outspeeds us at this point He does go into the Nidoking. King. That is definitely his the right play by him. Just gonna bring out Milo Tick. That's fine. He can hit me with that all day if he wants. Um, because we do actually get. We're just gonna fire off a scald here. He shouldn't be able to. Oh, he's got dry skin. Okay. Um, that's that that was completely 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 uh, obvious. I definitely should not have I definitely should have uh, predicted that Now I think we can eat up a hit from this because we are boosted from the Marvel scale. I Think I'm just gonna 
Yeah, I do eat that hit. I'm just gonna recover here. I'm actually gonna hit recover again. Um, it would be a problem if he decides to... Um, What do I really want to bring in against this thing? This thing is a problem, that's for sure. I This this thing was the one thing I didn't predict him bringing, um, which is... Which is a problem, definitely a problem. Just go for the foul play here that does do a lot um i'm mixed that crit totally mattered um unless he's unless he specs which i don't think he is he could be um but that that crit mattered so much Man, that mattered. That, that really, really is upsetting. I, I'm expecting him to just switch out here, so I'm just going to go for the knockoff. That crit definitely mattered, um, but if we can take this thing out, then he has no switch in to Magarna. And of course, if he decides to go in the Cofagrius now, we do get the knockoff on that, and uh, we do get some awesome damage on that. I definitely think that was... Yeah, he does go into the Cofagrigus. That's fine. Um, I do think he's going to go... I think he's just going to do a double switch. I do think he's going to double switch out into the... Toxicroak. But I don't feel comfortable enough not going into not going into Magirna. We're gonna shift gear here and we're gonna do some calps. Because if Shadow Ball takes this out from here, then I think we get the sweep. But I, I do think that this is our play to go for the Shadow Ball. Um, let's see. Let's see what he's at. Let's get our showdown calculator. I should have had this up before I started the match. But I do think, um, I do think Shadow Ball will take it out from this point. So let's see here. Uh, we are modest nature, so that's definitely going to matter. Let's see here. I really, really think if, if uh, this does take it out, then it's just going to be game. Let's see here. If I would have run Focus Blast, that would have been the best, but... Come on now. Forty to forty-seven percent. 
Do we really want to risk the high roll here? Because if we don't get a high roll, then we don't take it out. And that really, really hurts. And of course, he's, he's, he's going to go for this Earth. What did he go for last time? He went for the gunk shot. So let's just go for the shadow ball. We get, we get it. That's the sweep. We get the, he got the crit the first time on my, my mana buzz. And now I get the crit. And I think that is going to be a sweep. Yeah, it, um, this thing does have a chance to survive, I think. I, I do think this is going to be a sweep. Because I think he's already showed that he's not scarfed. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a high chance that we KO him, him here. There's a very high chance that we KO him here. So um, I, I definitely think we just go for the dazzling gleam. At plus one, it's it its max is ninety or its low is ninety seven point point one. Um, so basically, if he gets oh, that was pretty smart by him. That was really really smart. Um, that was extremely smart. He probably just prevented the the sweep. I do think we're in a great, great position here. He definitely that that switching into Gengar was a great move. That that was um, that was actually an awesome move. Because now he can come into his Toxic Croak and I don't know if um, Shadow Ball hits hits Toxic Croak. Trying to look it up here. Um, it's not immune to it, so at plus two, at plus two, I think, I think this still KOs. Ah, oh, that's a low chance, though. We do need a, a high roll to hit, hit it. Thing is really that thing really gonna live a shot from him? What if he's not? I 
I mean... I see no reason to not go for it. Uh, just because... I think it dr well, let's just go for it. Oh wow, he's really specially defensive. But we eat that up. Um, yeah, that there there might might be the game. Yeah, that's this is gonna be the sweep. This is uh, we do eat up that drain punch, putting some. This guy is so bulky. Uh, Our beginning is so bulky, so. That's resisted. There's nothing he can do here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell him GG because I do think he's gonna lose here. Because uh, the disable should should uh, go off now after this turn, I believe. I guess it's a little bit overconfident saying the GG already. He says it back. I think he knows that uh, this Magirna is going to. Still not disabled. Still haven't lifted the disable. Um, yeah, this Magirna is going to wreak havoc with him. Um, fortunately, he does get a little bit lucky because that 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 play with the uh, Gengar was definitely a super super good play, man. Um, but I do think. We just go to me and Xiao. He goes for the EQ because we couldn't use Shadow Ball because because it was um, because he's res he's immune to it because of the dark. He he's going for that. Uh, we're just going to U turn out and go into our uh, Guard Chomp and probably finish this off. Because I don't think an EQ is going to do near enough here. Yeah, we're resisted. He can stay in here. He's probably going to protect again. But I think EQ basically finishes him off here. We didn't get the sweep with... Yeah, he's going to protect. Don't know why he's doing that, but... Because this is going to do quite a bit. And we're going to be able to take it out from here. He might get one more KO, but this is going to be GG. I think he might he might pick up the KO against Garchomp, but there's really not much he can do here. Oh wow, he ate that. We're just come out, come on, come out into me and Xiao, and probably just go for the Stone Edge because I have a feeling he's just gonna protect here. Yeah, he's just gonna protect, and we are going to go for the Stone Edge here. <laughs> he eats that up. Uh, he does get, he picks up a couple KOs here, just because I can't go back into Magirna. I probably should have just come into Milotic in the first place, but he does make it a 3-0, I do believe, instead of a 5-0. So he does do a little bit of damage control because of those toxic spikes. Um, that I definitely did not expect him to bring hazards, and if he did, I, th I really expected it to be on Kofagrigus. Um, come on, man, just go down. At this point, he can't win because I can just out, out uh, stall him here with Milotic. Because he's just not... I don't know why he ran a special squad. I should have just come into Milotic at, in the first place instead of losing Mian Xiao and my Garchomp. But that is the game. Uh, we do pull out the 3-0 victory. There was nothing he could do against that uh, Magirna. He probably... If I would say anything, he probably should have gone into... Uh, 
Drapion in the first place instead of going into Toxicroak. That was a huge mistake on his part. Switching into Victini on an Earthquake was another huge mistake. Not sure what he was thinking there. Maybe it would have been a, uh, maybe that was a misclick. But we do pick up the 3-0. Um, our this is actually our best win to to date. I mean, our only other win was a 2-0. So this is our best win so far. I, I did think we were going to get the sweep with Magirna. Unfortunately, we didn't pick up the sweep with him. But we still pulled out the victory. Um, that that play bringing in the Gengar was super crucial. Um, that was a great play by him, for sure. Um, I definitely did not expect it at all. Um, but yeah, that that is going to be the match. Great win, uh, great win for us, and a great match played by him. Tyler is he is really playing well this season. I was really really worried about this match. I was super super like nervous going into this match. It was a great match played by him. He's had a really unfortunate season. Um, I do think the crit that I got, but that that is going to be the match, and that is going to be all for today. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, and if you like my videos, make sure you hit the sub button. Uh, but that is going to be all for today. Thank you for watching. Fox out.